So Catalan, EBR 100, he says, Aval im encha yemanit, if your right eye te scandaliza, it scandalizes you or causes you to stumble, take it out and make it far from you or cause it to be far from you. So what's interesting there is the word, um, is this word here in the second line, encha. It was originally written with a yud after the nun, making it enecha, your eyes. And then the scribe came along and he um, put a little line over the yud to erase it. That was a way of saying this yud is a mistake. It's not the plural enecha, your eyes, it's encha, your eye. And then just to bring home the point and make sure you knew to ignore that second yud, he added vowels, right? Because there's different vowels for your eyes versus your eye. Mm -hmm. So this is interesting. What's really interesting is that Shem Tov's Hebrew Matthew in most manuscripts has enecha in the plural, your eyes. Some of the manuscripts, uh, they correct it. Um, and make it your eye, but most have your eyes, which is a mistake. And I have to wonder here if the Catalan didn't have access to Shem Tov's Hebrew Matthew and brought over this error from to Shem Tov's Hebrew Matthew into the Catalan, and uh, it was then corrected independently both in Shem Tov's Hebrew Matthew in some manuscripts and in the Catalan. When you say, I mean, is, it, is, that, real, is, that, is, that, a, is that a legitimate... Well, if it was just this example, I wouldn't even bring this up. But there's other examples that show connections between the Catalan and Shem Tov's Hebrew Matthew. Really? That Look, we saw a similar thing just now with Salkinson, Ginsburg, and Dalich. And off the top of my head, I don't remember which one's earlier. Mm -hmm. I want to say that uh, Dalich is earlier. Um, obviously, or I shouldn't say obviously, if we find more examples like this, like where they're using the same word pun that they've introduced to the text, you're left with the conclusion that one saw the work of the other. Wow. And said, I'm not going to start from scratch. Look, this happens every day. Mm -hmm. When they do the new revised standard version, they don't start with a blank page. They start with the revised standard version. Sure. And when they do the revised standard version, they don't start with a blank page. Mm -hmm. They start with the, an earlier revision of the King James version. Mm -hmm. right? And the King James didn't start with a blank page. They started with Tyndale's translation. So if you go through all those translations, and this is where it's very dangerous using translations, you say, but they all agree. Clearly, that's what the original says. I don't know the original language. You say, but they all agree. Well, they all agree because they cribbed off of each other, right? <laughs> they were copying from each other. Mm. Now, maybe they are correct, but you can't assume that just because they all say, all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Translations can be copying from each other, and they often do.